like when, when it really happens something like that, I don't play cricket. Throughout the year, I keep playing cricket. Some of the other when the rainy season starts, I prefer to play on tennis ball or plastic ball where there is very less cricket going on because grounds are off for two three months. And whether if on June, in June, July, August, if I'm not playing because of the rains for say 10 15 days. Then I go for a vacation where I'm just out of cricket, I don't play or I don't think about cricket, I don't meet my cricket friends. So that there's no topic about cricket. Well, what is your second career? Because it's very hard to keep a sport as a lifetime career. And what do you plan to do after you are done playing cricket? Yeah, nowadays if you see cricket is such a sport where if you keep yourself fit, you can play till 40 years of age. And I'm sure that I will I'm capable of doing that. So I'll, I don't, I haven't thought of any backup plan because I just have one goal and one plan. Because if you have two, three plans, you just try to, you know, lose interest in one and then go to the other and then again. And lots of people in life I've seen now that they're scared and don't, they're not able to take the risk just because there might be a failure in life. This cricket has lots of variables. You might not get selected tomorrow, you might not perform, you might not get money, but Cricket is something which you, which is which sport which gives you lots of satisfaction when you go back home and when you perform well, when you follow the newspaper, when you are following the news everywhere. So I don't have any backup plan and I know that I'm going to make it some of the other days. So that's that's the only goal I've kept and I'm not going to go the other way. When you told your parents that you want to become a cricketer, were they supportive towards it? Uh, basically when I got selected for Maharashtra first time. In the next uh, morning newspaper, the team was flashed and my name was the first one because I opened the innings all the time for Maharashtra. So my name was the first in the list and then my daddy said, that are you are in the newspaper. And I said, yeah, I don't know. And then I just went with the flow and dad said, really proud of you that you have made it to the Maharashtra team. I never expected or I never thought about it, but you yourself have made it to the state level, that's good. He just said that much and then the moment I got done with the first series when I played for Maharashtra and came back home, that particularly I got very less grades in my exam and then that particular time I told my daddy that even if I fail or even if I don't make it good to the grades, don't you know, just think that I'm not, you know, but I'm just, I just want to focus on cricket and I just don't want to do both multiple things and you know, I just want to focus on cricket. My dad was someone who said that don't worry, even if you fail in the thing, that's okay, but make sure you graduate, you make sure 10th and 12th pass properly with good grades and you don't have to worry about anything else. Keep performing, keep playing for the country or state, but make sure your studies are also that important. Give some, some kind of importance to the studies as well because studies is something which teaches you lots of things in life. And yeah, my family was supportive in a very different way actually, I can say. Did you start the, uh, playing cricket as an opener? No, uh, yeah, from school times uh, I got selected as an opener and then from there also when I went for the selection for the state, I particularly said that I am the opening person and from there only my opening journey started. Is there any difference uh, opening in the start or in the start and or on the second one in the third position? Uh, yeah, basically I have batted only twice, thrice at number 4 or 5 when my situation, my team was demanding me to bat down. But I can say it's difficult. Uh, opening is something where there's, you know, 50-50 kind of risk for opening batsman because the ball is new, the ball keeps swinging, you have to face the first ball every match, every inning, no matter how the wicket is, no matter where are you playing, no matter what the baller is, first ball you have to play. By default, so there are advantages as well and disadvantages as well. I'll just say, I'll just say, you can say there are lots of risk of getting out in the first 10, 15 overs of the Olympic uh, linear ball. And if you manage to manage, like if you can manage those 15 first 10, 15 overs, then throughout the day, I don't think so. If you are set in those 15 overs, you get all the day to bat. So that is very something advantage and disadvantage both in one. Day. So you can say two things at a time, but yeah, it's good to open the innings. What is your ultimate goal in life? Obviously to play for Indian cricket team. I was like, and there's now IPL, which I started 10 years back in India. That's a very good platform for youngsters and for domestic players to make it to the Indian team. 
So my first goal now as of now, the short goal is to play for IPL and then think of India because to play for India if there's a procedure and there's you have to perform consistently throughout the domestic games. So last year I was shortlisted in IPL in those 355 players of auction. But unfortunately I was not bid by anyone I was not auctioned. So I was unsold. But this year let's hope that I make it to the IPL and then perform well there and play for the Well my last question is what is your advice for young aspiring cricketers? Now cricket has been so much of into you know you can say controls you can say and then you do so much of fame so much of money in it you just need to perform and you just need to start building it as a career usually and you usually people think that there are there is so many so much of competitions there is so much of you know, like I have seen lots of people but don't back their, themselves and you know, just leave cricket in between just because there is lots of competition and then lots of these that. But if you keep performing throughout the season and throughout the your phases of life, I'm sure you will never get anything, you know, you'll obviously get selected for state and keep working hard. Make sure every day you do something to make your future better, not just play for the time and then just leave it. Thank you for your valuable time and we have learned a lot. And uh, we wish you success and we hope you become a uh, cricketer in the national team. Thanks a lot.